somebody's Christmas tree behind you. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right. What we have here is we have a very faint trail coming across the pond, the road from the pond across the road. And I was able to work a, a body grip trap into this trail and I caught this big coon where it was going to cross the road. I don't know if it was coming or going. I don't remember which way I set my trap, but I got this big, nice big coon and the, fail was, the, the trail was pretty faint. I mean, some places you go and the trails are going to be very obvious, and other places you go, especially if you're trying just to catch the bigger coon, you need to look for fainter trails with less animal use because the big coon sometimes aren't running with the mama and the young coons. So I'm going to take this trap off, and I'm going to reset it. Just remember that by taking these egg-eating animals, the coons and possums and skunks, that you're helping other species out. There's no shortage of animals, and actually when you're taking some of them, you're actually helping another species. These animals eat a lot of eggs. Pheasant hunters and quail hunters, turkey hunters, ought to all be happy that someone's out there catching these egg eaters. Now that is a big coon. We're going to reset the trap and the coon are actually going up over these branches and then down and there's this is a road bank and over the years people have dumped a bunch of trash so it's really hard to get a stake in so I had to pound it in where I could and I'm going to have to bend that stake around to remount this trap so I, it's going to take some doing. All right it took some doing to get this stake even pounded in. I wanted to set it at this pinch point because the coon are actually crawling up over these branches here. I don't have to use any blocking because they're already going here. If a person did want to block it down, one branch would be all you need. See how it's up high off the ground? That way that coon is going to have his head going in there first. But that's that's all a person needs to do to block that in, and it's real stable too. So, I mean, sometimes you have to be pretty creative with your set ma making, and this is an instance of it. It's just, trappers are all like artists. They are very creative. They can adapt to every situation, or I guess some can, some can't. But a lot of trappers are very creative, and they can adapt to any situation. So a lot of those thousands of coons you, uh have taken. Where do they go? What, what's the fur used for? It used to be going to uh, Russia for coats. And then the Chinese got into it and um, they didn't know what they were doing so they over overbought, overpaid and now they're in charge of the everything and so, I think... So people wear them. Yeah. I guess I'm getting too analytical. They stay warm with the fur. Yeah. Fur is not fur is high, better than high tech and when you live in a, a country that's underdeveloped they don't have access to a five or six hundred dollar parka high, high tech parka they don't have the money and it's not available fur is very functional it works very well and it's available at least it used to be and it's sustainable oh yeah it's a sustainable renewable resource this coon was sustainably caught ethically caught and humanely taken. All right, you going? Mm -hmm. All right, that's a nice big coon. And you notice I didn't come up the coon trail. I always want to circle around and approach it from the side. I don't want to stomp a new trail down there beside it or destroy the trail because the integrity of the trail because that's what I'm using to catch this animal. So I circle around behind and approach it from the side. That way I've got everything I need to work with. <laughs> 